three of them man up. He's a slippery little attackman. And a drive and a score for Nolan Rockefeller. Took the feed from Machete, turned, weaved, and fires it home to give the Bears a 1-0 lead. Yeah, getting back into the goal. and Another one picked off by Machete in transition. Here's Antonelli. Goalie comes out, does Cornell. A shot and a score! Antonelli from range, high risk. And no reward that time for Cornell. And the Bears are up two to nothing. Yep. The Cats. Augevin in a matchup of the 42. Still tries to get his hands free. Plays it down low. Crease roll. McLean makes it three nothing Brown. Tic-tac-toe passing by the Bears there. And they make Vermont pay again. Third goal of the day for the Bears. And they lead this one three nothing, forcing Vermont into a timeout. Yeah, Chris Fife wants time. Bears three nothing midway through the first quarter. We'll step aside. 30 to shoot for Brown. King has some space, tries to get his hands up, feeds it across, and McLean goes top shell. Fisheri of that final ground ball, and oh. here come the Bears with 25 seconds. They have some time. Shot clock not a factor in, Dorian Pope! Adds another one to make it 5 nothing. And Mike, we talked to Mike Daly, or you did last week, and we talked about blue collar play. You saw it right there. Things that don't show up on the score sheet. The shoulder to shoulder hit by Bly, the hard work on the turf by a couple of Brown defenders, and it results in the Bears' fifth goal of the day. Yeah, that was a perfect example of Brown lacrosse, Mike, working hard for that ground ball, and then get it going in transition. Get downhill quick. Mother Nature says. Ball fed in front, Cook the finish. What a feed from up top to goal line extended. Cook stepped into it from Augevin and it's 6-1 Brown. Yeah, second of the game for Cook, eighth of the season for him. First of the quarter for the Bears. And 5-1 first quarter. Machete down low. McLean, Yaboa Cody was wide open. Late on the closeout was the 6-6 Patrick Murphy. And the Bears are firing at will. Yeah, Yaboa Cody just firing BBs out there, Mike. Was the New York State football high school player of the year. We thought that Yaboa Cody was going to put that one on frame. But he does come up with a huge cost turnover there. The Bears now oh. in transition. The drive and the score! McLean will finish the first half hat trick, Mike. And it all started with a... Decleater of Stone Jacobs by Yaboa Cody. Well, and there's one of those little plays, Mike, the hardworking hustle play out of Trevor Yaboa Cody. Gets forced off by the drive, comes bouncing in and scores. Antonelli actually got a piece of the goaltender, but it found its way in. And McLean sets up Antonelli to give the Bears now a 9-4 lead. Yeah, second of the day for Antonelli, fourth of the season for him. Took him just 57 seconds and you know, came from behind GLE there, tried to squeeze it in the near pipe. A very good team when playing with the lead under the current regime as Yaboa Cody! Oh, Nelly! Well, great faceoff win by the Bears faceoff unit that time. Team effort to get possession of that ball. Across midfield, McLean has the centering pass and the score! Finishing his own hat trick. Here's Darion Cook, and it's 11-5 Brown. Well, tic-tac-toe passing there by the Bears. Finds Cook wide open. Really use a goal here as Vermont has shifted momentum back in their favor with the last two goals. Feed comes out, Grell hands up. The shot altered, feeds and scores! Griffin King pots it for the Bears, a man up finish. And the Bears back on the board with 100 seconds to play here in the third. Boy, did the Bears need that when Krell fired it from range. I think it hit off a defender, but caromed right to the stick of Griffin King, who gets his second goal of the year. Antonelli and Yaboa Cody both with a pair. Darion Cook had three. Devin McLean, three goals, four assists. Griffin King and Nolan Rockefeller added goals. Ryan Ogavin with a pair of assists. Reed Moschetti had one as well. Connor Terrio making 13 saves in the effort for